Hello everybody, and welcome back to Week of the Sponge. Now, first of all, I would like to apologize that I didn't upload any videos on this topic yesterday. I just got really busy with working out at the gym and hanging out with friends and yada yada yada. So, I'm just gonna... Hopefully you guys will be able to forgive me for that. So today, I want to, dis to discuss continuity. As you know, SpongeBob highly lacks continuity. If you don't know what continuity means, then look it up on Google Dictionary or whatever. Anyway, so, as you know, some shows have continuity. Meaning that they would, like, reference earlier things or, like, change something and it would stay that way the next episode. Like, for example, like... Thin losing an arm, it didn't, like, just instantly come back in the next episode. Or, like, they actually had a reason that Finn's arm came back. Or how in the episode Headhunters of Gravity Falls, um, like, Blinden Blandon was in the background because they used him in a future episode for that scene, so... That's what continuity would be. While, in Spongebob, they would just slap in any old regular thing... And it feels like at the end of every episode, everything always goes back to the reset button. Whether it's Mrs. Puff somehow instantly recovering from an injury, Plankton going from being Mr. Krabs' best friend back to his mortal enemy, whatever the heck. They always have a resolution, but it's never in a future episode. It always has to be in the same episode. Because by the time the end of the episode rolls around, everything goes back to the reset button. Every single time. And honestly, in my personal opinion, it would be nice to see Spongebob actually have something, like some sort of altercation that would actually last more than one episode. Like, let's say uh, something happens with, like, Patrick. Like, let's say Patrick gets a job and he doesn't get fired from it for a few more episodes or something like that. Like, it feels like... Anytime anything changes, it has to be resolved by the end of the episode. They can't make it, like, more than one episode long. And honestly, that's kind of a good thing and kind of a bad thing. It's a good thing because if they don't change it, then it could highly alter the plots of future episodes. But it's a bad thing because if you never do it, then that just shows that you're lazy and you lack continuity. And every once in a while, when they try to throw in a bit of continuity, or, like, some sort of memorable thing, they screw it up. Like, for example, remember the episode New Leaf? That Robo Krabs cameo. Robo Krabs exploded. Unless Plankton, like, came back and tried that plan again, it didn't happen, or... I don't know, maybe it just blew up the chum bucket, not the robot itself. Maybe instead of Robo Krabs, it should have been that robot customer that he was. Remember the one with the mustache that fell off? Maybe that one, because I don't recall that one exploding. So honestly, so con SpongeBob it highly lacks continuity, and it seems like any time they try to have continuity, they just screw it up. SpongeBob did mention in this one episode that he wants to have the suds, so they at least got one thing right. But other things, they just they just mess it up badly. And that just shows that they can be a bit lazy, so... It's not exactly a good thing that Spongebob doesn't have continuity. But it's not, like, the worst thing in the world. So, that's basically all I got on continuity. See ya.